Hi everybody, I'm Lydia and I'm here to share today this Bestowed Box unboxing. So Bestowed Box is a healthy snack and food crate. They also sometimes give supplements um, and I was gifted this three month subscription for Christmas from my wonderful in-laws. Um, I feel like it's been very interesting. I liked the December box a lot. The January box was, eh. There was tofu, a big chunk of tofu. Still haven't cooked it yet. <laughs> but this is February's box, so let's take a peek and see what we think. So inside, you've got a little informational sheet. So let's get started with the first item on the list. Um, item one. Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee with Lion's Mane and Chaga Mushrooms. Um, so that sounds interesting. It is instant coffee powder. Um, gives you the ingredient list. You just add hot water. Um, and it's got a Best Buy date and that's about it. It tells you where to buy them online. Um, it has got strong mushroom dual extracts that support the adrenals and your immunity. And it's supposed to give you an extra boost of performance and energy with this paleo and vegan friendly, non-GMO, zero calorie coffee alternative. Um, it's supposed to be kind of a medium roast coffee taste without jitters or drawbacks of the caffeine and regular coffee. Um, I'm definitely going to try this. I'm a little afraid of how it's going to taste because I don't think you can really have a coffee substitute that tastes enough like coffee, in my opinion. But we'll try it, see what we think. Um, next is Manitoba's Harvest Hemp Heart Bars. So, uh, there's only one in here, even though it says bars, plural. Uh, it is just one. It is apple cinnamon. So it feels nice and soft to the feel. It's got 10 grams of protein, so that sounds good, and 10 grams of omega-3 and 6. Um, so yeah. Looking to see if there's anything else relevant on here. It's plant-based protein, of course. Um, ah, it's underneath there. Non-GMO verified. Uh, Certified B Corporation, so I'm guessing that is a uh, earth-friendly choice, uh, and it is vegan. So let's pop it open and see what we think. Inside, it kind of looks like, um, I don't know, I don't know what I want to see. It's kind of like fruitcake. <laughs> uh, I guess it yeah, it kind of looks like fruitcake. There's big chunks of something, little chunks of something, and sort of lard-like looking... I, I don't know. Um, you can tell a lot of it is maybe chopped up seed type things. Um, you don't smell the apple cinnamon until you're pretty much right up on it, unlike some things that have a little more strong scent. I'm gonna nibble off the corner and see what I think. So this tastes pretty good. Um, it's very nutty with the undertone and kind of the surrounding flavor, I guess, of the apple cinnamon. It's softer than I thought it would be. It's, it's really soft, honestly. Um, and kind of has a soggy nut texture. Yeah. The aftertaste is very nutty. And then you kind of feel like there's some lingering apple cinnamony bits that's sort of in your corners of your mouth while it still tastes mostly of nuts. Not bad, but I don't think I'd buy it again. 
I do like that it's a, a nice soft alternative to some of the other kinds of protein bars out there. Um, I think my husband might not like the texture though. I think it'd be a little too soft for him. It's definitely softer than a chewy granola bar, to give you an example. And it doesn't have a lot of texture to it because it is so finely chopped and processed bits. I chew it a little, but it doesn't take too much to chew. Um, next up, Monk Pack Oatmeal Squeeze Pack. Or, yeah, that's what it was. I thought for a second I got it wrong. Um, so guys, it's another fruit squeezy thing. This time, it's oatmeal with blueberry acai flavor. It's got fiber, it's got whole grain, it's got omega-3, and it's certified gluten-free. Uh, anything else here? 1% for the planet, so I'm guessing they, uh, donate. There is, uh, real fruit, five, 4 grams of fiber, 550 milligrams of omega-3s, it is gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, and a BPA-free pouch. Um, the pouch is made out of foil, I can tell you right now. Um, I don't know what I think about it. Let's open it up and try it out. Um, this one does not say that it's best refrigerated. Um, let's see if it says on here. No. So I'm guessing room temperature is just fine for this, unlike the other one where it said refrigerated made it better, but it was really awful. I'm not gonna lie, guys. That that other chia thing last month. Yeah, between that and the tofu, I don't know what, I, I, I just, I don't know why I picked out bestowed, <laughs> but maybe this month will convince me that it's just fine. Um, so this little stopper thing is so weird. Um, there we go. I didn't want to break, I guess. There we go just took several turns. Um, yet again, this is not a particularly appetizing looking thing. It is sort of this brown gooey stuff. I, I don't know what I think of these things. Okay, maybe I know what I think the other thing, but not this. Uh, just Okay, let's try this. Hopefully I won't make too many faces. <laughs> Nah. Nah. Um. It was mostly gelish with some oatmeal flavor and some fruit flavor and then a couple chunks of little oatmeal bits. I'll take regular oatmeal, guys. This just. Uh, Oatmeal's not meant to be all jellified and simplified into this kind of thing. I don't understand. Like, I know this kind of pack is easier, which is why they have baby food in these now, but it's meant for baby food type things where there is no texture. This? Ugh. No thank you. The fruit flavor isn't bad, though. Uh, I guess if you're in a rush, it's not a bad option. Uh, you can refrigerate it after opening and enjoy within two days. Definitely not going to buy it. <laughs> Next item in here. Natralia Anti-Itch Soothing Cream. So, I didn't really expect a product like that exactly. Um, Okay, I guess, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is for rashes, insect bites, poison ivy, or sunburn. I really wish I'd thought of that last week when I did have sunburn. Um, it's a topical analgesic and skin protectant with colloidal oatmeal and menthol, and it is cortisone-free and fast-acting. 
So it just gives you a little sample here. Um, you probably can't see too much of it left, but I have a little bit of sunburn from uh, last weekend where I went to vote early and stood in line outdoors for two and a half hours. Since I didn't know I was going to be outside that long, I didn't have sunscreen and I burned quite nicely. I always do if I don't know that I'm going to be out in the sun that long. Um, anyway, would have been handy. It says fast acting relief within 15 minutes and um, gives you a coupon with no expiration date, which is cool if you take some time before you finally use it. I will probably take this to the beach with me this summer and use it there for uh, in case I get sunburn. Honestly, this is the first sunburn I've gotten in several years, despite going to the beach most summers. Um, this is supposed to work faster than antihistamine gel, so that's kind of cool. And it's free of SLS, parabens, and petrochemicals, and safe for children. So that actually sounds pretty good that way. Um, and it is by an Australian company, because it says Naturalia, Nastri Naturally Australian, and... Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, not exactly what I was expecting going in for this kind of box, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, plus I'm too much about it. Next up is Nip More, Daily Dose of Dark Chocolate. Um, they come in perfect, perfect size, single servings to help you indulge mindfully. Um, it is made from 59% Rainforest Alliance certified cocoa, uh, and the 59% refers to the uh, dark chocolate level, not the amount of uh, product sourced from the rainforest appropriately. Um, don't want to get you mixed up there. Uh, it is all sourced thoughtfully, not just part of it. Interesting. Uh, kind of a bit of texture to the back, so I don't know if it'll be smooth or not. So that's interesting. It has uh, some kind of little crunchy bits in there, which is what gives the texture. Um, I think they were just bits of cocoa beans, honestly. Okay, it says um, it's got cacao nibs that give a tasty crunch and they're rich in antioxidants. So that's cool. And it's non-GMO certified for peace of mind. Um, it is also certified vegan and manufactured in Kennebunk, Maine. So that's cool. Live more, nib more. <laughs> All right, and I got two of those. Uh, it is a nice satisfying size similar to the dark chocolate that I typically get from Lint or Your Deli. I enjoy them. It's a nice size. Um, I would probably buy those again if I felt like something with a little crunch. Um, it was pleasant. I don't know how much they run for, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Next up, we've got Rescue Pearls. Um, oh, this is actually pretty cool, uh, I think. So they are dissolvable gel capsules that provide relief from daily stress by releasing one dose of their rescue remedy. Um, it is a natural stress reliever developed by Dr. Edward Bach, which is the brand Bach, um, more than 75 years ago and used by millions around the world. So that sounds impressive. Um, it's got a mild vanilla flavor which I kind of didn't, I guess, I guess since they're dissolvable capsules, you are meant to taste it and not just swallow it. That's interesting. Um, perfect for on the go. Uh, yeah, 
So, I'll have to test these. I don't know what I think. They are non-habit forming, alcohol free, homeopathic, so they may or may not really have anything amazing in them. It's hard to tell. Homeopathic stuff sometimes is good, sometimes is not really anything that's going to help you as much as it is, you know, nothing that's also going to hurt you. Essentially a sugar pill. Um, but they're 28 capsules, so I will have a good chance to see if they actually work. Um, so yeah, it's got helianthemum, malarium, which I believe is probably something in the, uh, probably sunflower to coneflower family. Um, Clematis vitabla, which is supposed to focus you when grounded. Impatience, glandiflora, uh, glandiflora, sorry. Um, Prunus cerasifera. <laughs> okay, there's, there's a couple different flower extract things. So yeah. Um, if pregnant or breastfeeding, ask health professional before use. Keep out of reach of children etc. You place a capsule on your tongue, let it dissolve, and additional capsules may be taken as needed. So that's okay. Um, yeah. Don't know what to say. That's, uh, yeah. It's okay. Alright. Two more items. First up, Simply 7 Sea Salt Kale Chips. That sounds good. I've never really had kale chips, so let's try one out. They are a dark greenish brown color. Let's try a nibble. That's not bad. Um, they are crunchy. They taste pretty good. Uh, they have kind of a bitter undertone. So I don't know that I would buy them again, but that's interesting for a change. Um, I'll probably finish them off unless I decide partway through that it's just too much, but on first inspection, not bad. Um, no artificial colors or flavors, simple ingredients, gluten-free, no added preservatives, and no trans fats. Um, gluten-free, kosher, and non-GMO verified. So that's not bad. Last item. Uh, is the Smarty Pants Adult Complete Gummies with Fiber. Uh, no sugar added gummies that have a full, vi full mu multivitamin. Wow, I can't say that. Um, Omega 3s, vitamin D3 and B12, and fiber. So you've got two gummies, which is one serving. Um, or actually, it's not. Serving size is six gummies or three packets. So this is just enough to kind of try out. Um, it's not bad. So seeing as it is a smaller than the actual size, I can take these and I should be able to take my normal vitamins safely in a, in a little while. Um, so these look okay. Uh, they are a little more stiff, more like real gummies, not fruit snacks. That's pretty good. I do like the taste of it. Um, I don't know what the taste is supposed to be. It looks like they're supposed to have m multiple flavors from the picture here where it has like a red, peach, and orange color. 
And I think these are the orange. Um, that's cool. If these are the same price as what I normally have, I would try them. I don't mind eating six of these gummies a day. And the fact that they are no sugar added and still taste pretty good says a lot to me. Um, yeah. And it does not have any uh, artificial sugars. So I think it's just from the juices that it's made. That's pretty cool. So that is my bestowed box for February, the last one that I'll be getting. Um, tell me what you think in the down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.